This is everything you need to know about tomorrow's update. Now, tomorrow is an absolutely heavy update for Battle Royale. They are getting a brand new season, but that does not mean that LEGO isn't going to get an update because we most certainly are. So the last time we got an update for Battle Royale, we got LEGO kits added in to LEGO Fortnite as a new area of content. And now these show up in the item shop every single night. We also went ahead and got new content as far as the fishing display. But on top of all of that, we got a major bug fix and adjustments update which then allowed us to fix all of the issues that were currently in the game or things that were preventing us from having a good time. And as you guys know, right now inside of LEGO Fortnite, there are still a ton of bugs and issues that we have, but it seems like LEGO has kind of announced different things that they're going to fix. Now, one of the big issues with the Star Wars update was wanting new colors on our lightsabers and not getting them. So my good friends over at Damien Saber actually sent me their brand new LEGO style lightsaber to show off and let me tell you guys it is absolutely insane now the app that comes with the lightsaber allows you to change every single color but also allows you to change the volume and some of the sound effects that come with it it is absolutely incredible so if you guys want your own damien lightsaber make sure that you guys go ahead and check out the link at the top of the description and use my discount code that way you guys aren't paying full price now one of the first bug fixes that we know for a fact that we're going to get is the players unable to find and eliminate stormtroopers. If you guys didn't know, there's a glitch in the game right now where stormtroopers get stuck inside of walls or end up invisible, and then you can't kill them and then progress through the cave. A workaround that Epic put out is that you can simply reload into your game or wait five minutes and that should fix the issue. Outside of that, they do label this as something that is fixed in the next game update. So tomorrow, this will be fixed and you won't have this issue any longer. Now, the next one that is also labeled as fixed in the next game update is honestly probably the biggest update that we're going to get. This one has to do with vehicles disappearing because they are stuck underground. This is something that is really stopping people from using airships or vehicles inside of the game. And it looks like this specifically fixes that issue and hopefully that label of fixing in the next game update holds true and that our vehicles no longer disappear. Now another issue people were having is when placing down the noble builds, the noble railing was unable to be placed. This has now been fixed so to anybody that was having that issue with the nightly small keep, you can now finish that build with the noble railing. Now I dealt with this one personally but this one also seems to be fixed. Some of the visuals of props and other items may appear low quality. You guys know that at my main base in my Anarchy Acres village, I have this area next to my fishing dock that looks very low quality and cannot change. You guys can see Epic labeled this one as fixed in the next game update. So some props around the rebel caves and other items may not load correctly and appear low visually or have a melted appearance. This should be fixed in tomorrow's update. Now, right now, these next group of fixes have been labeled as in development, so they haven't necessarily confirmed that these are fixed, but they are currently working on them. By tomorrow, these could be fixed in the update and they just didn't change the label, but for right now, keep in mind they know about these issues specifically and are currently working on them. Now, this first one is the player's vehicles getting stuck. Once again, this is labeled as in development. An issue that people have is when you guys transition away from the Star Wars Island, even if you you have power cells on your vehicles for whatever reason they will not work so i'm assuming that this is something that should be fixed in this next update and they have it labeled improperly but just in case do know they at least know about this and are currently working on it next up is dynamic structures may being displaced or shift when moving too fast this is something that we've all seen when flying in our vehicles where it looks like our dynamic foundation is behind us and we're kind of floating on our own this is another issue that they do have in development so hopefully this does get fixed inside of this update it appears that they've been working on this since february 1st so i would assume that means that this should be fixed in this update if not the next one now i've talked about this more so as a glitch but it appears as though epic is trying to 
fix this. Consumable buff items can be overwritten when eating another consumable. So example of this is if you had a 10 minute cooldown on the snowberry juice for that boost, if you ate something with the snowberry, it would actually replace it. Now this is something that has been in the game for a while, perceived as a glitch by myself and others. They are in development of fixing this. I believe they actually may have already fixed this, but they still have it listed as in development. So either way, little quality of life fixes like that would still be really nice. Now every single thing that I've talked about so far came directly from the Epic Games Community Issues tab inside of their Trello. If you guys didn't know what that is, it's just kind of a forum where Epic will post different things that they directly say that they're working on. So every single thing I've posted so far is what they're working on or have fixed. They provide labels with them to tell you if they fix them or if they're still working on them. That way they have a really nice area to give feedback to or keep up to date and communicate with every single one of us. Now just because we haven't heard about new content releasing into LEGO Fortnite tomorrow doesn't mean that we're not going to get anything. The last time that we got this change, we did get a few content drops, which is extremely, extremely nice. The other positive thing is that they are on schedule as far as releasing new content for us in a few weeks. If you guys didn't know, the way that the schedule goes with them is every two weeks, we do get an update. So getting this update on Friday means two Tuesdays from now is when we should see our next content update, which would look to be June 3rd. Now, June 3rd is still inside of that Star Wars area of the roadmap and could look to be a part two right before we get that big Clombo update that a lot of us are expecting. Now, if there's anything that we know about Epic and the way that they release their updates, the last season update that we got was on March 7th. And then on March 25th, we got that very large mechanical mayhem update for Lego Fortnite. So it appears as though when Battle Royale gets an update, the very next one is specific for Lego Fortnite. So what I'm hoping is that on June 3rd with the next potential update date, that we're actually going to get a very large Star Wars part two update as that is where it's at in the roadmap. Getting a part two with maybe some airships, new vehicles, and then more buildings and content would be absolutely amazing for the entire community. And I think I speak on behalf of everybody when I say that we would absolutely love that. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think that we're going to get in tomorrow's update. If you guys think maybe I was wrong about anything in this video, but I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, guys, this was Crafty, and I'm out. Peace.